Hey guys, so I'm a little behind on videos lately because um, the past few days I've been volunteering for Bali Spirit Festival. Um, it's been taking up most of my time. So um, it's a super awesome festival, which is happening, it happens here every year. Um, it's like yoga, dance, and music. So they have tons of workshops, tons of yoga classes, tons of like all different sorts of breathing, meditation, um, all kinds of stuff going on for five days. So it's really fun, and I get to go hang out there during the day and working at night. Um, but I just wanted to make a little video about one of the things I learned from a workshop a couple days ago with this amazing girl. Um, her name is Kat Dawes, and she um, she had a seminar about Nowism, which is this concept that she came up with. And I just I really loved her energy during this talk. Um, I'm noticing a lot lately about people that I really resonate with and that inspire me a lot. And so I made a note about her because she's just so, you know, there and just unapologetically herself. It was a very fun, like lively, playful talk, um, just like no bullshit, you know, no filter. She's just being herself. So that was awesome. I'd love to be able to like speak like her one day. Um, but her point of her seminar about nowism was just this, this concept. Oh, I just stuttered there. <laughs> Um, this idea, essentially, I won't get all into it, but just that she changed her life when she started feeling, feeling, really feeling gratitude, excitement and passion and just delicious, great feelings of happiness about things that she didn't have yet, things she wanted to bring into her life. Um, it's really interesting, right? Because we, we hear so much about gratitude and we should make gratitude lists and you know write about what we're grateful for, blah, blah, blah. But it really doesn't do anything if we don't feel it. It's all about the feeling behind the gratitude. So if you're just making a list of things you're grateful for, I mean, that's good. That's better than not doing anything. Um, but essentially what I learned from this was that we actually, when we put ourselves in the feeling state of feeling gratitude and happiness about something, whether or not we actually have it, we put ourselves in a different frequency that matches up with that thing. Um, so for example, you know, if you're looking to, you know, like, let's say you want a new bicycle, you know, if, if you, if you focus so much on not having this bicycle, you're going to put yourself on this frequency with not having, but if you just imagine how it feels to have this bicycle or whatever it is, you know, just a metaphor. Um, just imagine how you feel when you have this, this, this feeling of love and gratitude and excitement. Put yourself in a different, in a different wavelength to actually receiving that. And I know it sounds so crazy and out there that the universe will help manifest these things when you put yourself on this wavelength. But um, I mean, I'm going to try it. Like, I can't. I believe this does work. This has worked for me in the past with certain things. Um, it's not It's not about getting things, right? It's not about like, oh, I'm going to be manifesting $8 million because I just want things, right? It's, it's about putting yourself in the feeling state. <clears throat> so first and foremost, it's about feeling good, you know? And from there, things in our life come to us. Um, opportunities, jobs, projects we want to work on, the people we want to work with, like people we want in relationships with will come to us when we're on a wavelength of feeling good. Gratitude. Gratitude feels good when you're happy that you're just like so lucky in life. Not lucky, but blessed, right? So I encourage you to feel today, get clear on one thing that you really would love to bring into your life and feel grateful for it. Feel excited that you already have it because it's on the way. So this is my little thing on that. Um, yeah. The main message for me was gratitude and getting clear on what we want because the universe can't bring us things until we actually know what it is that we're asking for and what we want to feel. Instead of asking for it, just feel happy and grateful for it and let me know how that goes. Okay, I'm off to go do the spirit festival crazy things today, so talk to you later. Bye.